So I found myself moved by human rights, human rights violations would hurt me very much and would like uh, agi agitate me and I would want to do something, I would want to fight back. And I found myself selecting uh, the, we call them the, um, the loser cases, like the cases that no one would stand up to and no one would take. I mean, if you were a lawyer and you know it will fail, you wouldn't take the case. These were the cases I was taking. So for example, with, uh, with the Sudanese refugees, uh, I witnessed and documented uh, when the police raided uh, the camp uh, of Sudanese refugees. There were two nearly two, more than 2,000 refugees camping in Mustafa Mahmoud uh, Square in front of the UNHCR office in Mohandesin upscale neighborhood and there was a UNHCR office and 2,000 uh, Sudanese refugee was works in a sit-in in front of the thing. Now the camp was there for two months and the UN was fed up with it and uh, they kind of, in my interpretation, they kind of green light the Ministry of Interior to take these people away. So on, uh, on the New Year Eve, and it was very cold, um, they started blocking all the streets leading to the camp. So I got in, I heard this, so I got in, and then they turned all the lights off, of all the neighborhoods, they turned the lights off. Um, and they had packed a lot of public buses, so I started taking pictures of the public buses and their plate numbers and all the stuff. And then they showered them with water cannons. There were women and children, and they were screaming. And then there was a round of negotiations. And then water cannons and negotiations. And then hot and cold water cannons and negotiations. And then they made a complete circle against the camp. There was not a single opening. And I took pictures of this, because I climbed on a building, a high building, and I took pictures from above. It was dark, but you can see the helmets of, of the security police. And they were hyping up, the soldiers were hyping up, saying, uh, like, Allahu Akbar, Egypt, Egypt. It's like as, as if they are fighting an enemy or, you know, it was just crazy. And uh, then the circle started narrowing, 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 and then they would attack. And then they would drag uh, bodies, women. I mean, there was a woman who was, like, carried, and I mean, she could not carry himself. She was carried by two men. And I don't know if she was alive or not. And there was a baby like running after her and clinging to her foot. And whoever they got out of this circle, big circle, they would drag them, drag them, drag them, and then put them in the public buses. And all the way from the circle to the public buses, the police would spit, scorn, say bad words, beat an arrested person, a helpless arrested. Not just a person, he's a refugee. I like took pictures, took notes, and then when this started at 10 p.m. and it finished at 5 o'clock in the morning the next day. Uh, they put them in the buses. I followed the buses. They took them to detention camps outside Cairo that are illegal detention camps. Like they are the, the soldier, where the soldiers should live, not the civilians. Um, and then I came back to the campsite, took me more pictures. And then I went home, I wrote my testimonial, I put it on my blog. Uh, 